Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. So we are planning a, well, we have planned, and now we're doing the intro. Yes. A the intro, outro. I mean, okay, it wasn't an outro, but intro afterwards, but it doesn't roll off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but we are, I don't know if they can see you or not, because yeah, you can't in. really see. But um, we're planning a graduation for our sis who got her master's. Okay. Woo. So um, we're going to show you guys a little bit of the ceremony, not the whole thing, because you guys don't care about her as much as we do. <laughs> um, Which would be impossible. Possible anyway, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. <laughs> um, and so we're going to show you guys the ceremony, and then afterward, we're going to drive her around in the car, playing pomp and circumstances, and have her like with her cap and gown on the front. And people better like be like, "Whoop, congratulations!" There's going to be nobody outside, but still. <laughs> yeah. So we're just, you know, we're celebrating her. It sucks, you know, a lot of things got canceled during um, this yeah. stay-at-home order and everything. So we do what we can. Yeah. We threw like a little graduation in the back. Maybe we can insert some pictures. We made a program and stuff but um we're it's a quarantine graduation yes got it girl family what Today I will be your master of ceremony and we have all gathered here today to roast the graduates. No! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We are here today to honor the graduates and celebrate their accomplishments. Some of you out there today... Are they talking? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Some of you out there today are on a steady track to earn your doctorate by age 30. It's great to be a doctor so young, but don't feel bad if your patients are a little hesitant at first. As all of us here today can testify, doctors under 50 are too young and doctors over 60 are too old. <laughs> Give it a few years and you'll find your sweet spot. Also, if you could try being a man, that would also help. Uh, we will have the national anthem by Beyonce Knowles. Please stand if you want. If you want. <laughs> the Pledge of Allegiance led by President Barack Obama. Stand for the pledge, Mom. <laughs> to the flag of the United States of America, a new republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we will have our opening prayer led by our in-house chaplain, Deacon Galat. Oh my Amen. God. Amen. And put us in our right mind. And Father God, most of all, I'm praising you today for my daughter, Brianna, graduate with a master degree in science. This is beautiful. Lord, you have done it. You have done it again. Oh, I have all my daughters, they're all graduated, they're all doing well, and that's a blessing. My wife's doing well, that's a blessing. And we thank you, we bless you, we magnify your name. Hey, Ooh, I'm sorry. 
Now we will have the introduction of our commencement speaker by Christiana Galat. Hallelujah. Technical difficulties. Once again, I want to congratulate all of our graduates before I begin. You, what you guys have done is very commendable, and we are very proud of each and every one of you. Now I will be introducing your commencement speaker, Miss Arne A. Galat. Arne A. Galat completed her Master's of Arts degree in Cultural and Linguistics Diversity at Immaculata University in 2004. At the time, she was a full-time mom of three beautiful girls and wife to husband Garcia Galat. She has been an exemplary student since grade school and has always been an advocate for young black educated women. Since 2000, she has served as a leader at her local church. For 20 years, she worked with both men and women as a writer, creator, and educator. Many come to her in search of guidance and her creative gift. Arne has moved from one position to the next at the church, and many lean on her for her immense wisdom and creative abilities. Outside of church, Arne has climbed the ranks as an immigration services officer at USCIS. She began working at USCIS in 2004 as a district adjudicator officer. In 16 years, she has exemplified success, excellence, and dedication for her children and all who call her Mama Galat. Please, everybody, give a warm welcome to Arne Galat, your commencement speaker. Woo! Woo! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you can be seated. Wow. This is just amazing. I tell you, when I got the call from Dr. Harmon and asked me to speak <laughs> at today's commencement, I was blown away. I mean, I've been to a lot of graduations, but I never imagined myself being the speaker at one. So I am honored to be here today. Okay, well, first I'm going to start out in telling you a truth. And the truth is, I promise to be brief. Okay? <laughs> Amen. Because I know how painful graduations can be. And also, I know during this pandemic, we want to limit our social gatherings. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the pandemic and how it relates to our graduates today. Okay. So in speaking of pandemic, I have to say that you, our graduating class, is one of the most unique graduating classes from Wilmington University yeah. and probably from the nation or even the world. Mm. You see, your degree was birthed or your dream was birthed during a time of adversity, conflict, and uncertainty. Yet, in the face of all this, you still earned your degree, and that with honors. So you should be commended for that. Woo! That you're able to take time and reflect on the magnitude of this moment, okay? When everything seemingly said no, your perseverance said yes. And the proof of this is the degree that you will be presented with today. You're a true inspiration, and not just for today, but for generations to come. For years, we will speak about COVID-19 and the death and destruction it brought with it. But we will also continue to talk about the class of 2020, who stared down an enemy and said, of all the things you have taken away from me, social gatherings, visits with family, or even my health, you, COVID-19, will not take this degree away from me. Yeah! Ooh. And this degree does not just represent your academic uh, achievement. It serves as a badge of courage. It's where you were create courageous to can you continue on in the face of such an adversary. And for both of these things, I salute you, the class of 2020. Once again, I like to say, congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Now, we will be having the conferring of degrees. Okay. When you hear your name, please come up. Please, no applause, wait until the final. Call. <laughs> Amber Ambrosi. <laughs> Kyle Adams. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Samantha Adams. Woo! Brian Barnes. I can't stand him. <laughs> 
Simeon Gage. Get in. Gregory Hyatt. Haley Lamar. Alexander O'Neill. <laughs> Christina Polino. Simeon Gage. Brianna Gallant. <laughs> It is my pleasure to present to you today a Master's of Science degree in the Administration of Human Services. Woo! I my paper. <laughs> Would your family like to take a picture of you receiving your degree? Oh. Yes. Put your hand Turn back the, here. can you open the, <laughs> the, the degree? But it's not going to be it's right. Not. Why wouldn't it be right? <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey. <laughs> okay, I got some. Let's show the camera. Oh, Which, can you no, and this camera. This is Zoom over here. This is Zoom. They want to see? Do y'all see? You go, girl! <laughs> I think they can see us. Okay. Yeah, they can. They should be able to see. I, I don't know who all was there. Who's in the green, the blue I'm, shirt? I'm talking to them. Other people trying to get in. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry this. about the technical difficulties we had today, guys. This is my first time hey. using Zoom, but I appreciate y'all coming to this graduation. Thank you. Here too, though. Thank you. He said sit in the corner and then hold the bar. Here's your phone. Thank you. Do you want Mookie to take it, Brianna? Thank you. Mookie.
And he saw us, but there's no way he didn't see us. <laughs> okay, guys, so thank you for watching our quarantine graduation thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. It was really fun. Brianna deserves that and more, but you yeah. know, we did what we could. Congrats to the entire class of 2020. Yes, if you graduated this 2020 or you just did anything quarantine style, let us know. Congratulations, we we can relate because my birthday, her birth, Brianna's graduation, like yes. it's all happening, okay? So make sure you like and subscribe um, to the Galat Girls, join the family, yes. we love to have you all. And we'll see you guys next time. The baby's about to pop any day now. So any stay day tuned. now. Subscribe. Stay safe, guys. Love you. Gallet girl, family, what? Gallet girls will always be tight. tight. Family every single day night. day, night. Even though they like acting like a fool, you know you're loving every single thing they do. Gallet girls can always be themselves, themselves. around each other more than anybody else. anybody else. Every day when you're headed to the tube, you know there's no one doing the things they do. Family, a family. Gallet girl family. They'll make you scream and fall in love with Philly. It's a family thing, a family. Gallet girl family.